Okay, I guess we can move on. This was also an assignment for you to watch. It's about perceptual losses. Uh, it was an assignment for you to watch this video. But what is the catch here? What is the big picture? We just talked about it. If your loss function or your performance metric is based on your mean squared error, then uh, there are some drawbacks to that. For instance, if you have an image, you shift it to the right a little bit, then the image didn't change, but your mean squared error is gonna end up being huge. To the eye of a human being, if you take a super, resol super resolved image or a high resolution image, shift it to the right, then it's the same image. It has the same quality. Maybe you lost a couple of pixels in the beginning or at one boundary of your image, but that's not crucial. But to the eye, of a per pixel loss or per pixel metric, that's gonna appear huge. That's why people started looking at other metrics. And this is really cool. The idea here, you can actually use a pre-trained neural network like VGG16. This is pre-trained on ImageNet and it's trying to do classification. That is what this neural network was trained for. And throughout the training, it is learning some high level concepts about the image through that pre-training process. Now you can actually lose, use that uh, neural network to give you your loss functions. For instance, if your task is super resolution, you can take your ground truth, you can take the output of n neural network, this one is gonna get trained, a low resolution is gonna go in, a high resolution or super resolution image is gonna come out, you're gonna compare it to high resolution rather than writing a mean squared error loss on the pixel levels, you're gonna write it on some feature levels. And then qualitatively speaking, they're looking better compared to using mean squared error loss. Another application is a style transfer. For each style that you choose, you're gonna have a neural network that you're gonna train. And then as soon as an input image goes in, this input image is gonna output an image that's going to be in the style of the image that you chose. At the same time, you want the content to match. And the style reconstruction loss is coming out of gram matrix. And we saw gram matrix before also. Any questions about this? The question is, does super resolution depend on pre-trained weights? Uh, no. So this neural network here, it's not pre-trained. You're going to randomly initialize it and learn it from scratch, this neural network here that's giving you your loss function is gonna be fixed. So you're not gonna fine tune it, you're not gonna adjust its parameters, you're just gonna use it to give you your metric. Does that answer your question? Okay, perfect. So this paper is actually a generalization of a method uh, from before. And that one I'm actually gonna go through in the next slide, go into more details. That one, Per each style that you choose and per each input image, you need to solve an optimization problem to give you the corresponding image in the style that you want. This one is getting rid of that optimization step in the inference time. You can fix the style. Per each style, you're gonna have a neural network, but then you can put in multiple images, multiple content images in it, and then, that's basically replacing that optimization scheme that you see here. The loss function is the same. The only thing that's changing is you're getting rid of an optimization scheme. You're writing a surrogate for your optim optimization scheme at inference time. And by replacing that optimization scheme with a neural network, you're gaining huge uh, speed up because you don't need to solve an optimization per each input image. 